The Minecraft community is pissed off at Mojang. You know, like the super fun, cool mob vote we do every year that, you know, is supposed to bring the community together. Yeah, it's kind of tearing us apart this year. A lot of people are super upset with Mojang and want to stop the mob vote. If you're unaware of what the Minecraft mob vote is, basically once a year, Minecraft hosts an event called Minecraft Live where they talk about future plans for Minecraft and they also introduce a vote of three different mobs that the community gets to choose which one gets added to the game. Have an adventure. And we found the mobs that want to join Minecraft. I met a penguin that's quick in the water, but a little clumsy on land. They are super friendly and help my boat go faster, so I made it here on time. I met a crab. They live in mangrove swamps, and their claws can help players place blocks further away. Wait, where is Tiny Jens? I can't wait to tell everyone about the armadillo. Its cute can be used to craft special armor uh, for your pet wolf. Which mob do you want to join Minecraft? Please ignore the fact that I forgot to remove my overlays. I'm not re-recording that. <laughs> but as you can see, the three mobs this year are armadillo, crab, and penguin. Every year, you know, there's always a backlash when it comes to the mobs. This time it's a little bit different. Stop the mob vote is a hashtag that has been trending on Twitter for a couple days now, along with Mojang and Minecraft. People are not happy with them, specifically because they don't understand why Mojang can't just add all three mobs. Why do we have to vote? It all seems a bit childish to me, but I'm going to show you guys some examples that I found while scouring through Twitter. People have been making like union propaganda on TikTok to try to stop the mob vote and boycott Mojang. It's it's a little laughable, I'll be honest. Why settle for less when we could have it all boycott the vote? United we bargain, divided we beg. These are all real, by the way. This is not satire. Once again, they want all three. The creeper revolution is now. Here's another example of an unhappy gamer. Bro, this is dumb. Just add all of the mobs in. Like, really, one mob a year. This is just pain. Waiting one year for one mob to come in. Like, is it that hard to add all three to make the Minecraft community happier? This person was really upset. I uh, found this thread. This is this just shows how passionate people are about this subject and wanting to boycott the mob vote and thinking that it shouldn't be a thing and that all the mobs should be added regardless. Another union propaganda image thing. Add three mobs in a couple of months for a big studio like Mojang, it wouldn't be impossible. I mean, there is a whole petition going on right now with almost 200,000 signatures. People really want the mob vote to end. Me personally, I, I enjoy the mob vote or indifferent. I wouldn't say that I hate it or love it necessarily. I think it's kind of fun to have this community thing. I mean, the whole goal, I believe, of the vote is to have the Minecraft community ch have a choice in what they have added to the game. It's giving people a choice. And that's what Mojang wants to do, and that's what Minecraft wants to do. People just don't seem to be happy about this, no matter what. Something that people are also upset about is the fact that Mojang has said that, oh, eventually all the mobs will be added, and they haven't yet. Um, so I think the community does feel a little bit lied to and a little manipulated in that, that aspect. Oh, I just checked the petition, and it now has... A, 218,000 signatures. Why this petition matters. For years, Minecraft's yearly update has given players the mob vote the option to vote between three creatures to be added to the yearly update. This year, three equally great options are presented, which reveals a problem with the game's content release cycle. The mob vote generates engagement by tearing the community apart, leaving fantastic ideas on the cutting room floor, and teasing content that will never be seen in the game. That, mixed with the fact that Mojang somehow releases less content with Microsoft's backing than they did without, meaning players see minimal content to the game they love and watch as possibly the one thing to get them to play again is ripped from them. 
Many have expressed their discontent with the mob, but in the past with fan favorites like the Moon Bloom, Moo a Bloom not making it into the game, and with content creators mobilizing their fan bases to vote for the least popular option. For the joke of screwing over the other voters, this shows that the mob vote is inherently flawed. Lastly, Minecraft made its popularity due to its regular updates and large amounts of content. This was back as early as 2011. Now, Mojang is not only the highest selling game ever released, oh, I'm sorry, Minecraft is not only the highest selling game ever released, but has the financial backing of the massive corporation Microsoft. Despite this, players only receive a single, very small content update each year. The mob vote teases at some of that content only for a third of what was teased to make it in, further decreasing the content of the update. So we call upon Mojang, stop the mob vote, give us three mobs each year. If unpaid modders can add your mobs to the game within days after they're announced, the least you can do is keep up with the content frequency that made Minecraft famous. I 1000% understand why people are upset. This is a tweet that I saw from Nuke that I really agree with, and I think it's kind of a good way to end the video after catching you guys up on Stop the Mob Votes. Down with Mojang. Some of y'all are being stupid on purpose, right? Get a grip, enjoy the updates we get, appreciate the devs, and quit complaining when devs have said that they'll all be added when the time is right, they work hard, treat them like it. That's kind of my take on the situation. I think he put it into good words i guess when the vote rolls around october 13th we'll see what happens are people going to boycott the vote i don't think so i feel like let's be real everyone who signed that petition is going to be voting in the mob vote okay we we love voting we love democracy we love polls okay we love having a choice and that is what the mob vote wants to give to the community is having a choice and having their input into the game. Minecraft hasn't spoken out or made any kind of response to the petition or the hashtag or anything, but they might. Thanks for watching. Let me know your opinions on the mob vote below. Are you for it? Are you against it? Are you kind of indifferent to it? You don't care? I don't know. Bye-bye.